No, no, not yet. Not until me and Harvey get the rules straightened out. Rules? In a knife fight? No rules. <laughs> well, if there ain't gonna be any rules, let's get the fight started. Someone count one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Hello, party people. I'm back with another unpopular opinion. Wow. I did three negative reviews in a row. Jeez, that's bad. What better way to counteract unfavorable reviews than to praise one of the best films ever made? Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. So Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is a popular Oscar-winning Western. My title is misleading in a way because the film received widespread critical acclaim. Honestly, I just wanted an excuse to talk about this movie. It's one of my favorites. In a way, it is underrated because it's only talked about by modern audiences when it comes to Western classics. Not as the standalone brilliant movie it is. And now, I want to say this right now, that if you haven't seen this movie before, you really need to see it. I'm going to talk some spoilers, so spoiler alert. What can I say? I love westerns, and this is one of the best. It takes the genre to a whole new level. The title characters Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid are real-life legends of the Wild West. When law enforcement and security technology begin to modernize, Butch Cassidy, the leader of a notorious outlaw gang, knows the West is dying and becoming more tame. After he barely escapes capture, he and his most trusted gang member, the Sundance Kid, flee to Bolivia to continue their crime spree. It's a fun adventure, and it's an exciting, humorous journey for two desperate heroes trying to make a great escape and search for riches. I love the locations used for the film. From the sandy deserts to the remote Bolivian jungle, the locations and the sets really set the feeling for a western and has incredible landscaping shots. The environment really plays into the plot and adds tension and suspense to some scenes. I just love the beautiful looking backgrounds of this movie. When it comes to locations, I think the director and the scouting director really did a good job. That's why I love this movie. One of the many reasons I love this movie is because of the beautiful background. A great part of this movie is the stunt work, from the epic cliff jump The mule covering fire. To jumping and running on a moving train. And the best part is these stunts were done by the actors themselves. I know by today's standards these stunts aren't that impressive and have been outdone by multiple different movies. But I've always felt like it made this movie more fun and exciting. To me, these were spectacular and are among some of the best stunts in Hollywood. The characters themselves are awesome. In a time where westerns were becoming old and cliche in the eyes of the public, Butch and Sundance mix it up by playing the lovable bastards, the anti-villain, a term not heard a lot. Noble villains with heroic qualities and actions but are actually antagonists nonetheless. Butch is a smart, quick-witted charmer, and the Sundance Kid is the fastest gun in the West, and is lethal. They make the perfect pair. The dialogue between them is brilliant, and it speaks volumes to their characters. They're layered and they're more dimensional than the typical western cowboys you see that dominated the genre. Their quest is straight to the point, and it's interesting. One of the best things about this movie is the tension and suspense built throughout. Every little scene finally leads up to the ending action sequence. Even after repeat viewings when you know what's about to happen, the tension still feels epic and it's just incredible. The attention to detail is perfect. You, you gotta love it. I love the idea behind it. The Wild West is over, so the cowboys bring it with them to a foreign country and continue the spirit of the West, being outlaws in South America. Seeing them running around continuing their crime spree was pure adventure. I love this. I absolutely love this about the movie. Butch and the kid are doomed to suffer a criminal's death. They rob so many banks and trains, eventually a price is set so high to kill them. They know that every lawman won't take them alive. So Butch and the kid go all out to beat the odds in one last hurrah. The action in this movie was great. It's so fun to watch. The knife fight was great. The chase across the west by the law was fun. And the ending gunfight still keeps me on the edge of my seat. Seriously, the shootout in Bolivia was gold. All throughout the movie, the tension and the suspense builds. And by this point, the heat is too much. Butch and Sundance have their backs against the wall and are desperate. But when the law finally comes down on them, they fight to the last, knowing they can't make it. But they try to take as many of those bastards with them as they could. And they go out in a blaze of glory. So heroic, so badass. This movie is brilliant, and I can't describe in words how much I love it. I wish this movie had more modern audiences praising it and giving it the attention it deserves. The performances were stellar, the dialogue was sharp, and the direction was perfect. Well, guys, that's my true feelings on the masterpiece magnum opus of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I know I was a little sloppy and repetitive, and my arguments weren't that well thought out and articulate, but 
Again, like I said, I just wanted an excuse to talk about this movie. Thanks for watching. If you disagree or think I missed something, let me know. And I'll see you next time on Unpopular Opinion.